Hey guys, you wanna know how to make a UEFM tycoon like this using verse? What well, can I show you? Today. Alright guys, so we're back, and as I said last time, we're back with the Tyke series. So, this time around, we are going, of course, this is going to be a whole series where it will be multiple parts, multiple things. Uh, as you saw in the beginning of the video, that will not be created today. That will be most likely created next time, alright? So, today, mainly what we're going to do is create our uh area or basically our plots our just general map okay so we're gonna go to island templates here i'm gonna press blank uh put it on whatever team you have or whatever uh, wherever you want to uh yeah store it wherever and i'm gonna call this haiku uh youtube you this is gonna be a gem kind of like jewelry tycoon we're gonna call it like that. Uh, of course, you can replace the stuff however you want and change up the theme of it. But I'm gonna choose like a jewelry or like a gold type guy. So I'm gonna call this, uh, I'm gonna just call it Gem. Gem, Kaiku, YouTube. And okay, of course, you shouldn't probably name it exactly like this. It's a map, but yeah. This <clears throat> so, we're in here, and this time around, we're actually gonna be playing with designing our map. Okay, because we haven't done that before. Have so we're gonna do that this time. And yeah, so first thing we're gonna start off, okay, of course, we're not gonna have a blank space, basically nothing. Um, we could use this technically, uh, but like, why would we just want places here? I've seen other tutorials that try to make a tycoon series, or, well, not a tycoon series, but just a part of it. And basically, they, they just put it here. They don't really actually try to create a tycoon and have a learning experience for the view. Okay, which is you guys. Um, so this time we're actually gonna play a actual game, which I could even release. Maybe well, I'm not sure or whatever. But yeah, we could actually release it and it could actually get players because it's actually a playable game. So first thing we're gonna start off with, we're just gonna leave this. Okay, what we're gonna do is go up here and we're gonna get a shape we're gonna get a let's get a cube um and we're just gonna put this basically and you want put it down here, really i'm just gonna keep it down here uh this is gonna be a floor of our map um and what i'm gonna do to cut a color well we don't have to do this but to get a color you could just go here because ufn already has some ready so we could search a green and we could like a nice grass green something like this that looks okay but it's kind of little I'm gonna go green. And how about we try to get, see here, let's get, I don't know if it might be, okay, let's get a missive. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to get the perfect color. Act. That's not bad, but we can't get our perfect color. And then some who don't know about you, fan, might just give up here and say, oh, okay, I guess I'll just use this color. No, we're not. We're actually gonna go down. We're gonna create a new folder in our content browser. We're gonna type here, material. We're gonna keep this organized, of course. We're gonna create a folder here. And then we're gonna create a material right here. And we're gonna call this green grass. Okay, with this go. That's what we're okay. So now we can go here to our base color and we can just obviously change the color. Easy as that. So let's get a nice good color. Kind of that. Is that that good? Uh, I think we should have a little darker, kind of like that. See how that is? That's okay. How about we have it? It, it's, it just doesn't how I want it to be. Make it a little, little more brighter. Okay, you know, that's not that. We'll just test that out. So we can go here, just put it right there. We go. Yeah, that's the color I was more looking for. Uh, yeah. There, just like that. We could now. I'm gonna scale this uh to be pretty good for our map and for our map we're gonna kind of um yeah we're gonna have to move this stuff so this island settings I got all that hold shift click and I'm gonna just move them up for now probably like, and I'm gonna select this again and I'm gonna make it wide uh you know what? that that's okay that there we go we have a base our map and now uh what I want it to be is there's like a road here, and then there's like little plots all across here. okay so about one two that's about six plot okay and then we could just go back to here all and I'm just gonna search up road uh yes you can use a spline uh splines which allow you to make like curved road stuff I'm not gonna do that uh only because there's not real need for me to do that as well pretty obvious it's because this is very short and that long you know and it doesn't need to go uphill around that for me there's no use but for you there might all right so i'm just gonna look around here for a road uh is this good um that's okay uh okay wait there is a road material so what if we have a 
shape and we put this material on yep we could just put our material on there straight up and yeah i think we could just do that yeah okay yeah, that's what we can do okay we're just gonna do that makes it much easier yeah bigger shorten it a little bit like that and there we go okay. so i'm gonna rotate this around put this right here move it down press f go over there put this on the level of grass about and now i'm just gonna stretch this out um to what i think is good just like what we had before all right that's not good shrink it down a little bit more and okay that's okay let's shrink it down a bit more and you know what i'm gonna it's fine it's fine. i think i'm trying to be too much of a there we go i'm gonna leave it like that and actually you know what? i want it to be a bit more wide as well and there we go that is not that bad i actually kind of like it that there we go okay so now uh i'm gonna click this on actually okay so hold click on this one hold shift click on another one um and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna disable gravity because why would we want gravity um mainly what we want to change is collision so if i click on here can we edit the collision i don't think we can because we have to go to the static mesh and edit that or oh yeah collision presets we're gonna set that to collision or actually huh we actually want okay that is my yeah so since we've done that now what i want to do is actually edit this side pass this looks absolutely horrendous okay yeah so if i search up here is there a side that we can sidewalk okay there is sidewalks we can use this is perfect something like this is perfect for our needs so we can just use this stretch it out okay never mind it doesn't scale properly okay you know that's okay if it doesn't work then what we're gonna do is just make our own so we're just click here shapes cube again go here move it old side of that okay and then we're gonna just go here and we're gonna go up here and in this element material we're just gonna search for gray and we're gonna find a good like gray but not too gray see that's too much so something a oh, very very late let's see that one that's actually pretty good it's called ml simple underscore uh gray 40 flat okay this one seems pretty good and this is the one i'm gonna use so yeah also yeah see this is a problem where see why is this uh not as high as that see that's that's why we're is that worse i don't think this is supposed to be a sidewalk anyway makes sense uh and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to, go to our scale and we're gonna copy okay we're gonna copy our what is this access okay that's this is the green as you can see by here this is the green so we're gonna copy this so that's our z i'm gonna paste it into the okay well we're gonna have to paste it into our actually our x it seems uh and then we're gonna go back move tool and we're gonna do the same thing i'll row just to line it that uh i'm gonna also make it a bit more a width width wise i'm gonna line this up to the white part on the road because obviously that is the well that's basically where the car uh it should stay between this so let's copy paste this put it on this side make sure it is lined up good yeah like that and actually does that uh, this this side is good line too and there we go there's our sidewalk okay and there we go so now we're gonna start basically where our plots are gonna be so we're just gonna go up here and we're gonna do another cube again and basically what i want to do is just i don't know should we let's see um how about we have fences and not just ordinary fences let's do like um like a brick fence kind of so let's uh yeah i don't know why i deleted my cube needed that put it down here and i'm gonna just line in between there kind of like there and what i'm gonna do stretch this out put this uh kind of like right here okay separating the plots because um actually i just realized we're gonna probably need to move this because if we have another one here we want them kind of proportional gosh dark proportional to each other okay so we're gonna go back to this part right and we're gonna go into here the material and we're just gonna search up uh let's see what we can find brick facade okay um well oh actually no. okay thing is this brick why is it so realistic gosh dang it is very real. okay oh we're gonna search a brick again see if there's any good brick and it does not seem like this good brick uh i mean okay it doesn't seem like there's a good brick this is just way too all right you know that's okay we're gonna just choose a simple we're gonna choose like an orange uh a dark orange yeah so i'm gonna shrink this down copy and paste shrink it down again move tool move it up scale tool scale it and then we're gonna make this like a uh like something like that okay thing is that seems an icy ring so we're still not change this to actually gray uh like a not not that dark of a gray kind of like the sidewalk uh you know what i'm actually gonna exact same color uh yep this okay it, it's still too white um so we're gonna gray again and i'm gonna choose this oh uh, that's not that bad i'm gonna keep that one for now okay so now hold click on this one hold shift and then we're gonna copy paste uh over our side kind of like that also yep i think yeah okay we're gonna move it kind of like that and there we go so same on the other side as well hold on this hold shift 
copy that one. shift click click bow copy paste put it on this side and boom there we go so now we're separating our clock that okay and actually what i don't like is that these are not proportional so we're gonna bring this one in and we're gonna bring this one in. there same thing with this one select the bring it in select these yep something like that yep all right there we go so now i'm gonna uh so a, a plot stop. um scrap that we're gonna create a basically a place where we can claim the plot so we're gonna go here a shape or a plane matter i don't actually uh, yeah just choose the shape you want i'm gonna choose a cube and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it as let's do like a dirt dirty marble no not dirt um let's choose a a gray again or like a pavement uh so let's see what pavements there are. see this is too realistic now so it doesn't matter so i'm just gonna choose a gray but a not too dark gray oh it's auto all right we're gonna go back here we're gonna search up gray we're gonna find a good gray i'm gonna choose maybe this one oh five yeah, 05 is actually pretty good. So we're gonna go back here and just put it right here. And we're just gonna scale it to a good size that our plot should be. So I think kind of like that. Good. And we're gonna put it right there. Copy, paste, put it here. Copy, paste here. Let's select all these. Copy, paste, put it on this side as well. Okay, there we go. And now we are gonna, yeah, okay, you know what? Maybe move these down. So they don't... Yeah, kind of like that. Right up against the edge, but not exact. All right, there so now what we're gonna is actually make it uh we're gonna make a button a place where you can buy the plot but the functionality and coding will come next episode okay so what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna need a button so what i'm gonna do is please join the discord down below in the comment and i will have the model model for this button available to everyone easily able to be able to download and edit however you okay um please join the discord if you can if you can't please leave a comment down below and just say your reason why because or well if it's if it's too private a reason you don't have to say it. and as well if if if, uh, I guess you can't join the Discord, then I will personally try to message, comment back, reply, and send you, like, some sort of, like, Dropbox or something, a link, so you can download the Blender file and the FBX file without- So, we're gonna go here, alright, and we're gonna press import, which is we- Oh, well, that's why. We're gonna have to go here, and I'm gonna create a folder called imported- Import- Oh, shit. Imported assets. I'm gonna click here. And I'm gonna press import and then I'm gonna go to wherever you stored your button that you I told you guys to download or if you have your own uh I'm just gonna go where I store it right here button for buying things you put it in and when you import it uh we're just gonna have these settings here combine message meshes what is gonna be true and yeah it's basically kind of it so import yep and ignore these errors all right uh and then we're just gonna move this and to import the assets move here just to be organized i'm gonna take these materials and put the material okay and now we can drag this button out and there we go we have a button all right so as well actually before we even do that um we're gonna go to all here and we're gonna search up the trigger device all right and we're gonna pull out this trigger okay we're not gonna make it functionally or functional or change any of the settings today all right and this up what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to static mesh component okay and then go to our imported asset delete this sir uh and then we're gonna take this our mesh here drag it into the static mesh right here. there we go our trigger became the button okay yep just like now what we're gonna do okay uh this is gonna be our final quote unquote final step okay for this tutorial all right what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to, uh a web browser okay and we're gonna search pixel okay this is pretty simple and you can already see what we're about right okay we're gonna create new and we're gonna select wide p create and we're gonna go here put text and we're gonna use the forks okay please have the fortnite text downloaded already on your computer all you gotta do is search a fortnite text all right and what you can do or text ttf okay search that up uh find it somewhere okay free download whatever uh you can download this one right here it's a replica Let's use this one or whatever and once you have that go into pixlr go to the font and add up your font add that file all right so i'm gonna put fortnite and what i'm gonna do is collate underscore and then underscore oh we're gonna move to the next line we're gonna do plot okay make it bigger of course make it as big as we really can on here and then move it to the center boom that right there and all right and then we're gonna go to the fill and choose whatever we want i'm gonna choose a gr uh, bright green okay and then i'm gonna go to outline i'm gonna make a dark green because it just matches and i'm gonna make the size a bit bigger go here uh I'll check that close this okay i guess you have to have it open if it's on uh but then you go to shadow click it 
and I'm gonna just add a shadow. You guys don't have to add this. Here we go. And I'm gonna add blur that and just some. And then you could just save PNG and save it on your computer. I've already made this, so there's no need that. But yeah, all right. So uh, what we're gonna do is go here and we're gonna go to materials here. And then what we're gonna do is right click or well, not right click. We should first import the uh PNG, the image we just made of the text. We're gonna import it. And then we're gonna right click it and say material press enter and then we're gonna go into here and what we're gonna do is go down here blend mode translucent we're gonna select our a drag it into opacity and there we go uh and now i'm gonna apply this get out of here and now what we're gonna do is right click we're gonna go to niagara system and we're gonna search up looping loop single looping part yep create and we're gonna call this claim a lot text okay uh i guess we already i already named it that so i'm just gonna do claim plot text vfx i'm gonna click into it okay and then i'm gonna click here go over here and then i'm gonna select the claim plot text material and there we go so compile this and i don't know i don't see this right now uh which is weird why I, I don't know why I don't see it straight. Um, I'm gonna leave this real quick and I'm gonna go back into it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, it was just a glitch. And as you see, why is this so stretch, right? It's probably what you're saying right now. Um, what we're gonna do is go here. We're gonna go to an initialize particle. We're gonna go here to sprite size mode. Okay, and we're gonna do okay. Uh, actually, wait, not uniform. Uh, non-uniform. Okay, and for our width, we're gonna to whatever is really good for this. But obviously, we're gonna make it proportional. So first, I'm gonna change the height to 200 and then i'm gonna change the width to something like 225 225 uh it seems like that's too little so i'm gonna do 500 that seems like wait 500 what am i talking about uh but we're gonna do 27 okay that seems like the perfect amount uh, it could be even more i think so let's just do 300 all right i guess not 350 all right 350 is perfect all right for this text all right there we go. So now I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to a Niagara system and I'm going to drop it in and you're going to see it already works. But if you want to, if you want to edit this next time in verse, okay, we can't use this. We're going to need the VFX device. So we're going to go back to all and we're going to search out VFX. Okay. Uh, and hopefully we can find, yep, there it is, VFX spawn. We're gonna drag this out, okay? And obviously first it's gonna do all this, which we don't really care about. So what we're gonna do is go up here, okay? And we're gonna do effect type, well, actually, this doesn't matter. Uh, where is it? Custom VFX. Here, custom visual effect override, click that. And now we can go back to our imported assets or actually materials, and we can just drag our and there we go easy just like that okay there we go so we're just gonna keep that right there and there we go i uh, i want to center this in the button that and also i'm gonna take this i'm gonna rename it to claim claim a lot uh text one okay oh where'd it go i renamed it and it broke that is very strange never seen that happen ever uh that is very strange wait if i rename it to anything do that all right that's very strange guys um never encountered this issue i so don't know why it did that, but that'll be just for next time that we that out. So we're just going to take this VFX spawner here and we're going to drag it into our trigger. All right. And then we can rename this trigger uh, to a button, button one. And then also this VFX spawner. Hopefully we can rename it. We're going to call it um, claim plot one. Okay. It seems like we can't rename it. Sadly. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. Kind of weird. Okay. I, okay. Never mind. I see. I found the issue. Okay. This it's I think it's a bug in UEFA right now. So just reset it once you change the name and then drag your VFX spawn right back. All right. So now I'm going to select our button. I believe if I copy paste this, okay, it won't, it won't bring the child with it. So I'm going to just take both of these, copy paste and drag it to the next plot and so on for copy paste here copy paste uh oh it didn't seem like a cop okay that's annoying but we're not dragging it here copy paste bring it here copy paste copy paste and bring it here and there you go just like that we have it and now we have all these claim plot places just like that and that's gonna wrap up our first part of tutorial so i hope you guys like this video and i can't wait to see you guys next time again with the tie series with part two where we will actually code use scripts and all that again i want to remind you this game will actually be functional it'll work and it will be something map creators out there making a tycoon all right so i'll see you guys next time Goodcraft is about inspiration and learning bye